Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you design and modeling of screw turbine. So, let's get started. For the first step, create this circuit with a radius of 20 inch. And now let's go to the feature and choose the helix command. And now let's see the some option of helix command. Uh, there is a constant pitch and variable pitch. I'm going to select constant pitch and you can use any amount of pitch you want. And you can reverse the direction too. And you also change the number of revolution. I just put uh, 10 revolutions. And now you can uh, change the start angle. I'm going to put 90 degree. You can put 180 or any other value. And of course, you can change the direction to plus Y or gonna plus Y. It's up to you. If you satisfy the result, you can confirm it. Okay, now let's uh, select this point and go to feature and use reference plane. Uh, first reference is that point and second reference is right plane. And now confirm it. Right click on it and choose normal two and rotate the view. Okay, in this plane I'm gonna make a sketch. So okay, right click on this plane first and choose sketch and let's create a circle uh, with the same center and put the dimensions of uh, 55 inch or you can put any more you want okay now let's create one more circle uh, be sure you are going to use the same center and this circle diameter will be the previous circle uh, which means 20 inch and confirm it okay now let's draw a construction line uh, from this quadrant to this quadrant okay now let's draw a rectangle uh, I'm gonna create a rectangle from this center okay let's choose one more time click right here and you can uh, create any size you want in the rear wall this is just a thin sheet metal Okay, let's put the dimension. Uh, I'm going to create a uh, 0.5 inch. Okay, 0.5 inch is too much. So let's change the value. Okay, double click on it. And change the value uh, 0 0.3 inch. And confirm it. Okay, now let's trim the unnecessary curve. Okay, I just want this part. Now let's uh, confirm it. Okay, now let's go to the feature and choose a sweep tool. And cross chain will be this one, and the part will be the helix and slide this one. Okay, and now let's uh, confirm it. And you can change the pitch anytime you want. Okay, in the rear wall, there is a shelf in the center, so we need to create the shelf too. So right click on front plane and choose sketch and select this circle and click on convert entity. Okay, now let's uh, extrude it. And let's extrude it uh, up to 320 or 30 inch. And we may need to uh, extrude in the uh, other direction. Uh, you can put any amount of you want and confirm it okay our screw is ready now let's create a simple animation from this part uh, not simulation this is gonna be only simple animation first create a hole on the surface uh, I'm doing this because I want to simulate the animation uh, you don't have to if you don't want to now let's draw a circle on the front plane. Uh, let's make uh, two circles on this plane. And create one more circle on the right side. Okay, now let's select these two circles. And add the equal relationship. Now let's go to the feature and choose a stew cut. And cut it to true all. So confirm it. Okay, now let's uh, click on the new file and choose assembly and click OK. 
Okay, and click on the cross mark first. Now let's draw some construction line on the right plane. Uh, right click and choose snowman. Let's create two construction line. Okay, now let's put some dimension on it. And I'm gonna put uh, 50 degree. You can put any more degree you want. And confirm it. Now let's uh, insert the parts. Okay, right click on this part and choose float. And we need to rotate just a little bit. Okay, now let's use make fashion. Click on uh, this circle and click on this incline line. And choose the concentrate option and confirm it. Okay, now let's go to the motion study and let's uh, click on the mod icon. And let's click on the cylindrical face. And now let's change the model speaks. 100 RPM is too much. Let's put it uh, 20 or 30. And confirm it. And now we can uh, test the animation. Click on this icon. And we can change the animation duration anytime. So let's change it. And press this uh, key and you can put any time second you want and calculate the animation. And if you satisfy the result, you can save this uh, animation fine.